Hey guys, Libby News here, and today I have some pretty exciting news. So recently Kadaka, the creator of Danganronpa, did an interview with Famitsu where he states that there is a possibility of there being a new Danganronpa game. In the interview, he mentions that he does not consider Danganronpa to be a finished series. He believes that a new sequel will eventually come out, and that he might even join for the development of that game. And also, just to catch you up, if you haven't kept up with Danganronpa news much, Kadaka, the creator, left Spike Chunsoft back in 2018 to start to Tokyo games with some other creators. So a lot of people at the time thought that the Danganronpa series was officially over. So I feel like this is really big news because even though I've been pretty hopeful in terms of there being a reboot or a sequel coming out, there really hasn't been any news of there being a possible new Danganronpa game for a very long time. So I'm pretty hyped up. The article I found also mentioned some highlights from the Famitsu interview. So I'll go ahead and cover those briefly. In the interview, he mentions that he bragged that Danganronpa V3 was his best masterpiece because he intended to end it neatly, and that he felt it would be difficult to create a game that exceeds it. He also mentions that the voices that desire a sequel have gotten a lot stronger, and as long as the environment between himself and Spike Chunsoft has been set up, the probability is not zero. He also states that I feel like I may be able to make one new game in my future as a creator. I cannot thoughtlessly say which creator I'd like to leave the project to, but Uchikoshi, the creator of the Zero Escape trilogy and AI Somnium Files, may also be a good candidate, but I cannot bring myself to have have negative opinions, so it may be better for me to create it myself." And then he laughed. He also mentions that he will soon be able to reveal the thing that he has been working on with Spike Chunsoft, which I think could likely be this dark fantasy-esque mystery game that was announced back in 2018 to be a collaboration between Tukio Games and Spike Chunsoft. And one last thing that I want to mention is that this interview was done as a special coverage by Famitsu because of the Danganronpa 10th anniversary, which I talked about a while back. And I know I said I would do monthly updates, but the announcements have been very underwhelming to say the least. It's mostly been merch drops and the day and TV specials have even ended early because of COVID. And since they haven't been able to do the full celebration for the Danganronpa 10th anniversary, they've decided to extend it to November 2021. So I think if there is a game in production, it will likely be announced then at the very end of the celebration, so November of next year. But this is totally my speculation. There very well may not be a game in production. That's just when I think it would be announced if there is one. But yeah, what would you guys like to see? I personally love the idea of Uchi Koshi directing a Danganronpa project. And for those of you who have watched my channel for a long time, I actually did finally beat 999 in my spare time. And so I think it would be really cool to see him work on a Danganronpa project since I really did enjoy 999 so much. And I really do love Kodaka, but I think it'd be cool to see somebody else's take on the killing game format. And I do trust that Uchikoshi would do a good job. Otherwise, I feel like I lean towards the idea of them doing a hard reboot of the series, since I feel like all the storylines in the other games have been wrapped up pretty nicely. I'd like to discuss it more more, but I feel like I'll be going into spoiler territory and I would like to leave this video spoiler free. So instead, I think I might just make a video later discussing what I'd like to see in later games, what I'd like to see out of a reboot and etc, etc. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? I know that I am. And yeah, whenever there are big updates like this, I will definitely do my best to cover them. And I usually talk about them on my Twitter a bit earlier. So if you want to know the updates a bit quicker, you can always follow me on Twitter. But yeah, with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited about this news. Please leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed the videos and if you enjoy hearing updates from me on this kind of stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys real soon.